What's good everybody, Hector here back again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick. While you're at it, hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I drop new content. Also, be sure to hit that like button because the like goes a long way and it helps the channel out. So today we're going to be reviewing a shoe that a lot of people have been waiting on. I know I sure have been waiting on it. I literally got lucky with this sneaker with the raffle. I didn't think I was going to get it, but I ended up hitting on two pairs. And then I also did manage to cop a GS size 5. So definitely lucked out with this release. And I know y'all probably wondering like, what sneaker are you talking about on this night? If y'all ain't seen the thumbnail, here we go. Bam! The Air Jordan 6 Retro. Hairs, yo. The box itself is, is is pretty dope. It's simple. It's got a little carrot on it. You know, Bugs Bunny. You know the hair, uh, the rabbit. Uh. Yes, but I do like the box. Uh, this is actually my size. I got an 11 and a half, so I'm definitely lucky with that one. But I know y'all didn't come here to watch me review a box, so let's just get right into this sneaker. As usual, I want to share this moment with you guys while I open up the box. Happen there. This paper is pretty dope. Look at that. And more paper. All right. Ooh. I got too excited. I almost dropped it. But there you have it. The Air Jordan Retro 6 hair. Now, right off the bat, this sneaker is amazing i love the design i love the way it looks the colors just flow so well you got your greens you guys see uh it looks like red but it looks more like pink you got the purple jump man logo on the bottom on the top you got just the slightest bit of orange which is just enough to make this sneaker like pop i'm digging what they did with the tongue it's like a translucent tongue where you can see like the under colors and stuff like that but on the back, let me see, on the back, you got all the colors right there. Purple Jumpman logo. Honestly, if you slept on this sneaker, I feel bad for you. This is definitely a sneaker you want to have in your collection. Retail on these is $190. I ended up getting lucky because I had finish line cash, so I used some of that. So let me know real quick in the comments if you ended up getting a W or an L on this sneaker. The second pair that I got was a size 12, and that's already sold. I ended up selling it on GOAT. I made a pretty decent amount. I wasn't expecting all that. Now these compared to my DMP6s, I'm digging these a whole lot better. Just like, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm loving like, I, it feels like a like a, like a a suede nubuck type feel. And the gray definitely complements the whites and the pinks and all the other colors in the sneaker. I will say this, the one thing that I didn't like is the leather material that they use. Because even getting them straight out the box, you can still see some of like the wrinkles and I wouldn't say they're creases or nothing like that, but let, let's call them pre-creases. Like I'm not sure if it shows up on camera. It, it, it doesn't, but it's not even it's not even crazy noticeable unless you're like looking right at it. But that's my only complaint on the sneaker. Inside the sneaker, you got the insole with like the the patterns. You got the black, the red, the green, the gray, the little little bit of orange there. Literally everything on the sneaker just flows so nicely and then on the sixes i've always wondered what this little what, what's this little poofy thing for like and i mean it looks cool and all that stuff but like i don't know i've seen people debating which sneaker looks better you got the sevens or the sixes honestly i looked at the sevens i'm not a fan of sevens at all so i definitely think the sixes are way more appealing to me but if i had to choose it would definitely be the one because the Air Jordan one just looks so fly. And then on the tongue, they have the Jumpman logo, but it's actually Bugs Bunny. So I thought that was pretty cool. I would like to one day, you know, buy me a pair of those and review it on this channel. So, you know, maybe, maybe I will. Who knows? Stay tuned for that. I honestly wish these shoes would have dropped sometime at Easter because they definitely got Easter vibes going on right now. So I'm also going to be posting some on foot pictures on my Instagram. If you want to check those out, please go ahead and follow me right there on my Instagram where I usually post sneaker related content on my story, sneaker news, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. But now that that's out the way, let's hit it with some B-roll. <laughs>
there you have it there was my quick review on the Air Jordan 6 retro hair please go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what's your favorite part about this sneaker and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I drop more sneaker content but thank you guys so much for watching this review I got way more reviews coming soon for y'all I just picked up the Air Max Supernova collection which include the Air Max 90 the Air Max 270 react and the Air Max Plus. Now those are a fire release, so I can't wait to get those going. So keep it locked to the channel for that. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.